Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to your reading for the week of September 16th. Uh, this week, we are going to jump right in here. Uh, you have this Wisdom card and this Devastation card. We'll have to take a look at that and see what's going on there. Uh, you do have the Ten of Swords. It did come up in reverse, which is interesting. I don't read reversals, but actually this whole entire deck must be upside down. Um, but the Ten of Swords can say something is dead done over with. Um, you know, I look at the Ten of Swords as a good card because... Um, and there we have the tower. <laughs> so there you go. Um, but I look at the Ten of Swords as a good card because it can say that, um, you know, basically uh, it represents a blessing in disguise. You know, he is making a symbol uh, right here um, that is a blessing in disguise. So I wouldn't worry about it. Uh, this is actually very good. This changes everything. Um, you know, if you've been watching me for a while, you know that I, I love when the tower and the judgment card uh, come up next to each other. Uh, those two cards can represent like a major revelation or, um, you know, a major wake up call and or a major light bulb moment. And we have the sun here. The sun can represent enlightenment or receiving enlightenment. So really, um, I would say that this is probably not that bad of a reading, although I'm not going to sugarcoat it. We'll see We'll see what comes up. Uh, you have the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords says something is dead, done, over with, and it's time to let go of whatever it is. You know, he, he is kind of like, you, you could argue that he is after the tower, kind of, you know, not really, but kind of, <laughs> and the, they kind of represent different things, you know, this really represents victimhood and uh, rock bottom, right, right, or reaching rock bottom, and he has these ten swords in his back, and so the ten of swords can just basically say something is dead, done, over with. The trick with the ten of swords kind of is accepting reality for what it is, and the whole point of the tower is that those people are being brought back down to reality, and then you have judgment, which those people were dead, they were inside of these coffins and they're rising up out of the coffin. So, you know, is this a bad reading? I would say no. I think things are could be actually improving for you if you went through a stabbed in the back type of situation or um, if something has come to an end, right? Uh, you have the four cups. Four of Cups is a card of contemplation and apathy. He's looking at these cups that he has manifested in his life and he is thinking like this fourth cup that's coming out of that cloud, you know, is it worth it for me to accept this new opportunity into my life? Or is, you know, is there something better? You know, a lot of people read this card as the grass being greener on the other side. And I feel, um, for some of you, I do feel that. Like, I feel for some of you that you could, this reading is kind of saying that you could be feeling triggered by a person who maybe left you for someone else. Or, um, you know, if you experience a situation like that where someone left you um, and you think that they left you for someone else, that maybe they thought the grass was greener on the other side. And, um, but, you know, the weird thing, the weird thing, that is popping into my head for you here, Cancer, is like kind of different. <laughs> What's popping into my head is that some of you might think that a person thought that, but it might not be true, you know? So I would be careful of letting your thoughts kind of run run wild, especially after a breakup or even if it happened years ago. I tell people all the time to not get like caught up in thinking about exes and all this other stuff. Like your job should just be living your best life and creating the best life and not worrying about what your ex is doing because it'll just drive you crazy and you don't really know what's happening. So, you know, I kind of feel that here on the four of cups. For, um, for most of you, I would say maybe like 80% of you, <laughs> I feel like this is saying that you're just... There are, I just feel like this minor annoyance in being dissatisfied. You know, it's like maybe you feel dissatisfied in life. It's, it, you know, I'm not saying like things are terrible. Maybe for some of you they are. Uh, but for others, I feel like I don't necessarily feel that anything is terrible or awful, uh, but there's just this general sense of dissatisfaction. Uh, the good news is the rest of the reading looks good, except for the tower, but again, I, with the tower, the judgment card totally changes the meaning of the tower for me as a reader, uh, because it is the most powerful combination in the tarot, so, you know, again, I'm not too worried about that either. Uh, you have the justice card, you know, again, some of you, I do feel like some of you are wanting a person to get karma, or you're like, you know, if this person, um, you know, fell and slipped on a banana peel in the store, I wouldn't, and they, and they, if they broke their tailbone, I wouldn't feel too bad about it. But again, I tell people all the time, if you're hoping that someone's going to get karma, they're not going to get karma because you're focusing on it. So I wouldn't even worry about it. But, you know, I do feel some of you are kind of wanting justice for something. And again, I think that, you know, they like they say, success is the best form of revenge or whatever. So I feel that you just living your best life is is the karma, right? And that's what I tell everyone, <laughs> is that you shouldn't be worrying about what's going on in your ex's life. Um, plain and simple, you should just be focusing on yourself. 
Uh, with the Ten of Swords, you have the Hangman here. Mm, there's some sort of change. And again, I'm happy to see the Hangman here because he represents enlightenment. He is hanging from the Tree of Knowledge and Wisdom, and his head is glowing, and he's gaining enlightenment. Then you have the Sun after the Tower, which I'll show you in a minute. The Sun makes the whole entire reading a little bit more positive, but again, I feel that some of you uh, could be seeing things from a new perspective. The Tower is about gaining a new perspective as well. They, they have built that Tower up around them, and they've been ignoring reality, and now they're gaining a new perspective because they're being grounded in reality and they're seeing things how they actually are in their life so definitely um you kind of gaining a new reality or, or um you know gaining a new perspective and with the four of cups you, uh, you show up here cancer the queen of cups so i kind of feel that this is just you showing up in the reading and um yeah i really don't feel anything about that four of cups i mean the uh queen of cups i feel it's just saying that you could be nurturing yourself i definitely would encourage you to focus on your intuition and trust your intuition this week uh, with the Justice card, you have the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, doing too much. I do get a feeling here of you being too busy or having a lot going on. Like, is this a bad thing? No, nope. like, I don't think so. I, I feel like I said this to you in your Eclipse reading. I'll have it linked at the end of this video, but I'm pretty sure I said the same thing, that a lot of you, it's like you're busy right now, um, but is it bad? No, I feel like you're like working on, on a lot of things that um, you need to get done. And I feel I also feel that things are getting done. I think that busyness is only a problem if you're scattered and you're getting nothing done. So, you know, again, I don't really feel bad about this Two of Pentacles at all. Uh, next in the area of what's coming in for you, you have this Manifest card. Here you go. This is the problem. You have this Forgive card. So again, the tower uh, could be that a past person is coming in looking for forgiveness, <laughs> and maybe you're, it's upsetting you because you know maybe it's triggering you. And again, I would definitely like block and move on, or I would do whatever you can if you don't want to hear from a past person. I would try to block them, but people still will find a way to get in touch with you. So sometimes we can't avoid it. But I'm you know I'm kind of wondering if that's what's going on here uh, with these cards. Uh, the manifest card is pretty good. Um, you know again it can say that you're manifesting good things. I would say that you're manifesting a light bulb moment in, or insights with the tower in the judgment card, which would be great. Right after it, we have the six of wands, which is uh, success. Also the eight of wands, which is quick success. So again, whatever this is, um, you know, doesn't have to be a bad thing. Like I already said, I do feel if someone's coming in for forgiveness, that could be a problem. I'm getting a lot of messages here this week for you, Cancer, if you can't tell, but I'm also getting something where this tower moment could be you realizing that something is dead and is kind of like a waste of time. So if you're working on a project or a business or a side hustle, or if you're helping someone do something, I kind of feel that this tower is saying that you could be the one uh, that is leaping out of the tower. You know, the tower, they're ignoring reality. They are ignoring the facts of the situation that they're in. Uh, this guy here, He's like jumping head first. He's like, you know what? I'm out. F it. I'm out of here. I can tell that this tower is on fire and there's no point doing this any longer. So some of you uh, could be gaining insights on a situation where you're saying like, I'm out of here. I'm not doing this. Now, uh, this could surprise another person. <laughs> so you have this person here who, who can't believe that they're being forced out of the tower that's exploding, that's being hit by a lightning bolt at the top. So again, don't be surprised if you choose to you know, walk away from something or end something that isn't working. But what I would say is like sometimes this can be a good thing. Like I think we could all be better breaker uppers, for example, with people. It's like if you're with a person and you just keep dragging it out when you know it isn't working, it's like not only are you wasting your time, but you're wasting that person's time too. So even when we don't want to hurt a person, sometimes it is better to hurt a person, you know, hurt. You're not really hurting them. You might be hurting their heart, but they'll get over it. They're an adult, right? Uh, you should be dating adults in the first place. But what I would say is they'll get over it. And plus, the sooner you do it, the better because you're freeing up their time as well. So, you know, again, if this is a relationship, but I don't even feel this is a relationship. I feel like this is a work side hustle, um, working on a project with a person or something like that, that isn't working. Uh, next, you have the Page of Pentacles. Uh, this could be communication uh, or news. Um, you go up to the judgment card this way. Uh, with the Justice card there, uh, this could be you receiving good news as well. So if you are like looking for approval on something or if you're hoping to get approved for something, this could be approval. Uh, this could just also be like pleasant communication I'm getting. So if you're hoping to like communicate with a person, um, it could be about anything, it could be about money or whatever, uh, this would be uh, great for you as well. So that looks pretty good. Uh, you also have the Ten of Pentacles, which is amazing. Uh, Ten of Pentacles is everything you want and desire 
in your life. Of course, you don't just get this. As I always say, you know, we work on the Ten of Pentacles for the rest of our lives. This is something uh, that you will build forever. And the Ten of Pentacles is different for everyone. But I think if there was ever a time in history where everyone should really try to manifest everything they want and desire, it would be right now. And again, I like to remind people, this isn't about materialism. This is about, um, you know, kind of just living life to the fullest and, you know, really kind of going for the things that you want. And I feel like that's what the Ten of Pentacles is kind of talking about. We also go this way. Sun, Six of Wands is amazing. <laughs> you know, that would be some sort of major success coming in for you or a big win. So I really like to see that. Um, and again, this could definitely be something that leads to uh, your Ten of Pentacles. But uh, let's see here. Uh, with the Tower, you have the Ace of Swords. You know, again, like I said, the, the Ace of Swords is the truth, but if a past person's coming in and telling you the truth, but they're like, you know, I cheated on you with your uncle, your mother, your cousin, and your best friend, like, do you really want to know that? Probably not. People always love to tell me how they need closure. I'm like, yeah, but do you really need closure um, or, you know, or not? Or do, do you really want closure? Do you really want the truth in the situation? I would argue that you probably don't. So, <laughs> you know, I would be careful in this situation. I also feel that this could be surprise communication or you're kind of surprising yourself. So some of you, uh, you know, this could be a good surprise. It doesn't even have to be a bad surprise. So I would pay attention to that. Uh, like I said, uh, these two cards here are like a major revelation or a major wake up call or light bulb moment. And the Ace of Swords, it would say this could lead to a victory. Uh, with the Page of Pentacles, you have the High Priestess. Definitely time to trust your intuition. Very intuitive week. And we have the Queen of Cups right next to the High Priestess. So I think that, you know, you tapping into your into inner voice or listening to your inner voice is going to be important. Uh, with the Ten of Pentacles, you have the Five of Wands. See, there's something you want and there is a, you feel like there is competition for something you want. But I don't think there is as much competition as you think. This could be the surprise that's coming in for you. You know, it's like maybe this is in love. Like if you're interested in a new person with the lovers, like you might think that there is a lot of competition, but really there isn't. <laughs> and we go this way, which is saying that you're going to be victorious. And the Ace of Swords as well would say that you're going to be victorious. So uh, I wouldn't even worry about the competition. Uh, next in the area of what's coming in for you, uh, you have the Sacred Journey card. You also have this Rest and Endings card. There's definitely some sort of ending going on here. Uh, but you are on a journey uh, that is leading you to something greater. Even, you know, the Judgment card, your first card there, can represent uh, your purpose. So you could be going on this journey of discovering your purpose or discovering your inner calling. Uh, I also, I, I kind of get the feeling that you're feeling called to do something or to move towards something. And I do feel that it's probably going to take your life in a completely different direction uh, than you're thinking. <laughs> and is this a bad thing? Hell no. I think this is a good thing. I think that you're leaving your old life behind clearly and you're stepping into this new life, which is exactly what the judgment card wants us to do. Uh, you have the sun. The sun, of course, is happiness, joy, uh, best card in the deck. Comes up after It's coming up after the tower here. And so again, I feel like the tower moment probably isn't even really that big of a deal or that big of a tower moment. The sun wants you to focus on joy as well. The sun is like a spotlight in our life and it shines its light on things that we need to pay attention to. I always say that usually with the sun, something just pops up in our attention. Like maybe you can't stop thinking about an idea or something that you want to accomplish. And the more you think about it, the better your idea gets. And the sun just says, move towards whatever that idea is. Start creating it or start putting the work in and you'll be successful. Uh, you have the five wands. Again, I, I kind of get the feeling that you think something is competition, but there is no competition. It could be in work or business. Like maybe you want to go for a raise or promotion and I would, I would go for it. I feel like you're like, you blow the competition out of the water is kind of what this is saying to me, uh, to you <laughs> in this reading. Uh, same thing in love. It's like, maybe you don't realize that, uh, you know, everybody sucks nowadays as far as relationships are concerned. And it's like, maybe you are amazing, hopefully cancer, and, uh, you blow the competition out of the water. So maybe that you're interested in a person that would be totally happy to have you in their life. And, you know, I kind of am just getting the message that this is like competition that doesn't even matter or competition that doesn't even exist. Uh, with the Judgment card, you have the Four Swords. Yes, it would be about resting, relaxing, recovering. I'm wondering if you had a bad tower moment and it, now you're kind of receiving the blessings from it. Uh, the Four Swords, there's a person 
who's blessing another person right here in the stained glass window. So you could be receiving blessings um, after a difficult period of time that you've experienced. Uh, with the sun, you have the lovers. There you go. So lovers twice in the same direction going this way. Uh, whatever this is will make you very happy. And the lovers you know, can represent making a choice as well. So if you don't want love, uh, this could be a new path or a new choice that you're making in your life to go in a new direction. Tower, you're clearly going in a new direction. And I feel like this new direction will make you very happy as well. Uh, with the five of wands, you have the ace of wands. Yeah, ace of wands is out with the old and with the new, but ace of wands is a passionate new beginning. So I do feel that for a lot of you, uh, that there could be some sort of passionate new beginning coming in for you with the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is also kind of like a spark of hope or, you know, the spark of inspiration. And with the sun here, I would definitely move towards your inspirations or if you're feeling inspired uh, to do something, then I would move towards those inspirations. Uh, next in the area of the good stuff, you have this dove. It says be, be peace. You also have this beaver. It says lay a solid foundation. Yeah, if you're starting a new connection, I definitely feel that, you know, having a solid foundation would be a good idea. You know, the tower gets reduced down to its foundation, and then we always rebuild it after. And I'm kind of wondering if you've, like I said, you've already had a tower moment, even though, again, the tower is different to me in this reading because you have the judgment card. If you didn't have the judgment card, different story, but you do have the judgment card, which is just a major revelation. And so I feel for a lot of you, uh, that this is saying, you know, you've been, you've already been reduced to the foundation. Now you have to rebuild um, whatever you, you are rebuilding. Uh, you have the six of wands, the eight of wands, and the lovers. Again, it's like you're coming out on top or something like, like that here. Um, you know, Again, especially if you're thinking that there's a competition. You know, the five of wands is the battle. The six of wands, the guy has been to battle, and now he's being celebrated because he has won the war. And so for a lot of you, I kind of just feel this reading in in some ways is saying that you're coming out on top or you have come out on top so that looks amazing uh you have the eight of wands and the eight of wands is a card of communication there could be like i do get this feeling you have the eight, eight of wands you have the page of wands you also have the ace of swords these are all cards of communication so if you're hoping to receive communication or if you are communicating in something uh, this could be very successful for you i would also say that if you are in communication like if you have a uh, social media if you are looking to start a business that involves communication or like starting a podcast or anything like that uh, i feel like this eight of wands is really 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 good. You know, I feel it's saying that there could be a lot of success in doing whatever you are doing. Eight of Wands is quick success. It's also about uh, doubling down on momentum. And so I'm, you know, I'm a big fan of doubling down on what works right now. I say it in every single reading because we really need to do it. <laughs> that's why. And uh, most people don't, even me. I get lazy sometimes. So that's why I always repeat this. But there are always cards like this, the Wheel of Fortune, Chariot. These are all cards of like really paying attention to what works and doubling down on it. And so that's what I would do there. Uh, you have the lovers. Definitely could be love uh, coming in for you here. Uh, I would socialize to find love. You have the eight of wands. You know, eight of wands could be social. Sorry, like I just woke up and you know I, I have I have crusties in my eyes, Cancer. But anyway, uh, what I would say is that I think for a lot of you, uh, this could be meeting love through socializing. Could even be social media with the eight of wands. But whatever. Uh, you have the in the ace of swords as well. Normally I wouldn't say that with the eight of wands, but you have the ace of swords. So you know this could be like communication there as well. Uh, with the, here you go, with the six of wands, you have the ace of cups. Again, three aces, not a bad reading at all. Uh, I feel like, you know, sure, maybe you had a tower moment, but the aces are all about new beginnings and starting something new, and you have three, which is amazing. So a lot of you, definitely more, um, more fulfillment coming in for you with the ace of cups. With the Eight of Wands, you have the Emperor. Some of you could be communicating with your Emperor or your Empress, take it how it resonates. Uh, this could also represent, uh, you know, for, for all of you, you know, whether you want love or not, the Emperor is about taking control. And I feel, um, I look at the Eight of Wands as creating a slip and slide in life, like removing as much friction as you possibly can. Years ago, I, I don't remember who said it to me or whatever. I think I like watched a YouTube video or something about like life in general, right? And again, I can't remember who it was, but like some expert said something about um, removing friction from your life. And it changed my life because I like I really, a after I watched that, uh, whatever it was, I can't remember, um, I started really looking at the places where I was creating a lot of friction and I started doing things to fix it. Totally changed my life, made things a million times easier. And the emperor is all about like taking control and doing stuff like that. 
Uh, with the lovers, yeah, if you're worried, about, if you are with the four cups, if you're looking at a love offer that you are receiving and you're worried if it won't be fulfilling or not, I feel it will be a very fulfilling, probably like some sort of dream or wish come true with the nine of cups because the nine of cups is very fulfilling. Uh, the nine of cups also says like, this is what you've been wishing for. So, you know, I would pay attention to that. Uh, you have this staff, it says you will be taken care of in difficult times. So for a lot of you, I feel like you have nothing to worry about. Uh, you have this carrot, it says opportunities or a windfall, love it. So definitely uh, could be some sort of big opportunity coming in for you. Uh, you have this carriage that says a journey, either physical or mental. You know, the tower can represent a move. So if you're um, uh, moving or if you're just making moves in life, uh, this would lead to a lot of success. Uh, you have this key, it says successful outcome to your problem. So again, 10 of swords tower. If you're having a problem, clearly you're solving it. You have the ace of swords, which is a victory over a problem. You have the sun, which is happiness. So I feel like there is really nothing to worry about here. You have this fox that says shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. Eight of wands. Uh, this card reminds me of like the seven of swords and the eight of wands. It's uh, again about uh, doing things tactically like the seven of swords. And it's also about removing friction, like we already said with the eight of wands. So I would focus on removing things that are causing as much friction as possible. If there are things that are slowing you down, you know, maybe it isn't worth it. So I would pay attention to that. Um, but overall, really good. Love it. Thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week.